Okay, let's see if I can do this before the rain really sets in. Adam asks a great question about stride length and how we're meant to increase our stride length to run faster without overstriding. We're, tell, we're telling people that we're meant to be making short, quick strides, but then what does that do in terms of our ability to actually open up and hit those faster paces? Well, that's where there's a bit of a paradox or a bit of a kind of, I suppose, mixed messaging that goes on when it comes to running form. We're so focused a lot of the time on what happens when the foot hits the ground. So whether we're looking at forefoot strike, midfoot strike, heel strike, and what happens as the foot's on the ground further up the chain. So think things like hip stability, what's happening around the hips and pelvis. But we don't focus enough on how we swing the leg through underneath us because how we swing the leg underneath the body, thinking about things like our knee drive and the carriage of our, our heel, how high we're picking our heel up underneath us. In, in general terms, we're talking about kind of triple flexion as a term that covers the position we get to. We don't talk enough about that. And there's a video right over here, which will tell you exactly how you're meant to increase your stride length to run faster, which will cover all those things. Go check that out. That's the answer to your question.